Freeman, I, I was reading through your writing, and I think this is really interesting. And I think one of the things I want to address here is, is based more on your writing than your examples. So the one thing, let's talk about the examples first. Okay, so of course, this is, is, is based on Art Deco, right? Um, it's, it's a pretty simplistic. Um, I, I think it's, it's okay. I'm not totally blown away. This is definitely based on uh, the stylistic rendering of Renaissance, specifically the, the depiction of light as it, as it affects the, the, the object. So we can definitely see Baroque slash Renaissance in here. And then over here, this is basically, uh, this is a modified photograph. So um, this is totally Photoshop, right? So the one thing that I'm kind of missing in your post is the fact that we're supposed to show two examples of a cutting edge, outstanding um, uh, uh, design and then describing why it is and then one bad example. So I'm a little unclear here as to what are your good, which is your good example and which is your not so good example. So maybe you can clarify that. So what I'm seeing here in your writing is this, and, and this is your question for the week, and I'm really looking forward to your response here because this has direct relevance to, to the way that we look as, at, at, at our creations as designers. So I think what's happening here is you're saying that I chose the first example because the first one caught my attention. I'm familiar with the second and third. Success is not, see, see, so you're familiar with it, but we should be basing our choices on the fact that are they good, compelling, cutting edge design or a, their lack of. Okay, success is often based on a creator. Many people have opinions, but from my perspective, if the artist believes that the work is complete, then it is complete. Okay, to a high degree, I agree with that, and a lot of artists in through history have taken that notion and really ran with it for example marcel duchamp um urinal um basically what he's saying is i'm an artist this is art because i'm an artist and i call it art so it's kind of a a a a, 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 a statement kind of a, a social political statement on art itself okay and to a high degree i think yes you are right uh, an artist says yes this is my art this is done because why? Because I'm the artist and I say it's done. Okay. Now, design is a little bit different and we can't take a designer. A designer doesn't have the luxury of saying, this is my design and it's done because I'm the designer and I say it's done. My question for you for this week is what is the difference between art and design and why is an artist afforded the luxury of being able to say, this is my work, it's done because I say it's done? And why is a designer not afforded that same luxury? In other words, um, why is a designer not able to take a look at their design and say, this design is done because I say it's done and I'm the designer? Okay, so basically, in essence, what's the difference between art and design? And that's your question for the week, and I'm really, Freeman, I'm really, really interested. Uh, maybe this post more than all the others. I'm really interested in your response here. So definitely looking forward to your response. Thank you very much, Freeman. I appreciate the writing and I appreciate your, your, uh, your thoughts. Thank you very much.